nice is because you can see that this has turn on a dime capability. So when you're manually steering the cleaner with your remote control, it's very easy to get to exactly the spot that you want to get to. Clean, and then, you know, come back the other direction. And this cable is 10 feet long, so this floats on the surface of the water while the unit cleans inside. You put your power supply right into here and charge it up for a three hour charge cycle. And then this will run for an hour and a half to two hours and clean the entire pool in that time. Cordless. The only uh, cordless cleaner on the market. And then to remove it? Oh, so it also is smart enough to know when its battery is dying, it goes over to the edge and it stops. Okay. But it does come with a little hook that, that if it's a few feet away, you can just hook this uh, thing here and then, and then just pull it out. Okay. Yeah. You know. It's a really cool unit. Nice, uh, simple top access to the filters. Oh, yeah. Very, very like easy. That. Where's the debris go? Into that. Right into here. I'm just saying, I get a lot of leaves in mine too. Oh, yeah. There's Let's two they, they will be packed, and there's two of these. Double. Oh, for so both sides. Okay. It comes in through this uh, bag, and the thing that's nice about this bag is that it means that the filter cartridge fills from the top first. A lot of cartridges, the problem was that it would get about this much stuff in it, and it would, and it would be hopelessly clogged. This keeps that, that entryway free and it fills from the top down, you would be shocked. This thing could be packed with leaves, a wall of leaves. You know, you make it. 2009, so there's basically only three things that go wrong with it. Uh, so the, the last thing a consumer wants to do is to buy something, you know, a high-priced item. Come in, something's wrong with it, and you have to tell them, well, I have to send this away for two, three weeks until somebody looks at it and then fix it. So we made it for the dealer to be able to service this thing. So what we'll do is we'll set you up with a dolphin analyzer, a dolphin tester. So if somebody's having an issue with the unit, tell them to not only bring the unit in, but bring in the power supply that it plugs into. First thing you'll do, it goes this way, this is the protocol. This will plug into the dolphin power supply, you plug this into an outlet, you turn it on. If you get a green light on the Dolphin tester, the power supply is good. Does the tester work for the old? No. Okay. It's only going to be from 2009 up to the DX units or the M series. Next thing we're going to do is test the cable. Now, very simple to get the shell off and expose the cable that goes into the motor. Any of these Dolphins only go from four to seven screws max to get the shell off. So I already took the screws out. There's one in each corner. This just lifts off. Now, with this dolphin tester, you'll have a key. This just helps you break the pressure fitting until you can get it with your hands. You unplug this like you're pulling a lamp out of the wall. There's a triangle head. Dolphin tester's a triangle. There's a groove here and a tooth there, so it only goes in one way. And this is while it's still hooked up, though. Yeah. Well, now we're going to take now we're, now we're gonna this hook cable it up and, and we're going to plug the cable into the power, power supply. On. Turn the power supply on and if this lights up green, that means your cable's good. So if you eliminate the power supply and the cable, it can only be the computer chip, the drive motor, and the suction pump. But all three of those things are in this case, and it's sealed, so you don't have to take this apart. So two green lights means that there's four more screws. You take this black box out, you put a new one in, you plug this back in, you put the pressure fitting in, put the shell on, and they're gone. It is literally that, that was probably four and a half, five minutes. That's a lot better than two minutes.